Daddy, this is rubbish. No, darling. No, it isn't. Because in episode 6, we got... The fuck? <laughs> this is One Pet at a Time. The Extreme Edition. On the last episode of Extreme or One Pet at a Time, we completed Morning's End Part 2, the final requirement for Song of the Elves, aside from the skilling requirements. Acquired a room pouch, finished all of the skilling requirements for a Recipe for Disaster, had some insane RNG in the wrong places, uh, got a bottomless bucket, achieved and purchased Barrow's gloves, and had insane RNG in the right places. So, here we are, at the beginning of the video, turning in Zoga Flesh Eaters, which was... Which is an alright quest. Disease has the potential to be very cool, but just currently isn't. Um, right, so that's what we get, uh, and now we can do the rum deal, I believe. So let's go and uh, deal some rum. I must say that I love that doing uh, Zoga Flesh Eaters and you kill Slash Bash near the end gives you 125k's worth of erg bones. That's not actually bad for a pretty low level quest. Right, we're going to fish some little slugling things. Um, they definitely don't give uh, a pet roll. Um, and you can tell that because they gave no XP. Um, among other things. But yeah, that was a... Uh, uh, my heart... Every time it... Um, every time that I read in like a quest guide, fish, da 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 or like... Um, or mine, da 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 my heart always uh, skips a beat, but this one we get away with. Right, turning in the rum deal. And you actually get some quite cool XP from this, I think, so I should probably get a couple total levels. Yeah. 7,000 per XP, up to 48 per 7,000 fishing XP, up to 54 fishing, and 7,000 farming XP, which gets a little closer to 86. But, crucially, I think now we can do... The Cabin Fever quest. I think we've got everything we need, do we? Yes, right, let's get on with that. And that is the end of Cabin Fever. Uh, fever? Fever. Fever. Uh, I th oh, this is going to be a fucking long cutscene, isn't it? Come on. Come on, Bill Teach, you boring bastard. She's kind of thick, though. Look at them teeth. Oh, yeah. She's showing the cleavage. See that scene? It's like that scene from Pirates of the Caribbean with the. Uh, that's the second Pirates of the Caribbean reference I've made in this series, uh, but you know what I'm talking about. She dummy thick though. Ooh, and she called Mama as well. Wow, that's kind of uh, naughty. Uh, well, I'm just over here with my purple skin, not mine, not mine, minding my own business. <sighs> Bill, Bill, you're fucking boring me. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Why why are you talking to me and not the uh not the pretty maiden over there? See, this is your issue. This is why you're dressed up in a stupid hat and a stupid jacket and not pulling the girl. Cuz you're too busy talking to some purple-skinned, red-bearded, fremenic wearing moron like myself. No game. Bit more like Bill teach yourself how to have some game. How long's this clip now? It's been at least a couple of, it's been at least a minute. Come on, Bill. How do they, why do they make cutscenes like this? Totally unskippable. But it's like oh my god. Unskippable cutscenes are the worst. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Got the got the XP. Decent XP from that. I needed that smithing XP and I needed crafting XP uh, for, you know, in the future. And also the agility XP is very nice. So that's pretty cool. And we have now unlocked... Can I use this bank? Looks like I can. Uh, we've now unlocked cave horrors as well. So time to go and get ourselves a black mask. There we go. Got it early. Uh, 78 kill count for the black mask. Very nice, very, very nice. Right, let's get out of here and continue on. Oh, I might need to imbue it, actually, sooner rather than later. Mm. I'll go do that. This is some of the most jankiest content in the world, and you basically have to boost it, which is very lame. But, 
Uh, that's not very cool. But we are just about finished with getting our imbue for the black mask. I think that should be the last one that I need. Um, not entirely sure. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> I timed that exactly right. 200 points exactly. Confirm scroll of imbuing. There we go. Use that on our black mask. And there we go. We've got a black mask imbued. Simple as that. Right. Time to get back to some fun slayer. Okay, so I waited a week uh, to see if this would get patched, to see if it was uh, considered bug abuse or not. Um, but I guess they've decided it's not, because there's been no patch to it in this week's update, even though this is relatively well known, with guides for us all doing a uh, video on it. Um, so if you set fire to yoga bones on uh, main, um, you can then pick them up as burnt yoga bones on your Iron Man, um, and each one gives about 16 XP, or if you use it on the Wildy Alta with the 350% bonus and the 50% save, then it's about 100 XP per one, uh, which is like five times less than a Dragon Bone. Um, but this is actually a very kind of decent prayer XP per, per hour. I mean, I don't know if I'd just be better killing green dragons, probably. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd just give this a little go just to see how it was. Um, and it's alright, it's quite actually click intensive, it'd probably be easier just to kill <laughs> some green dragons. So I think I'll uh, stop doing this soon and uh, yeah, I'll show you how many bones I get from it total and uh, how much XP we get from that. <laughs> okay, right, turns out you can't withdraw them as a note. So they're fucking useless because I can't take them to, uh, to, where is it, the Chaos Altar. So yeah, that's an L. Don't do that. And there is 65 attack. Workmen are being insanely busy outside. Uh, but I think we'll go back to strength uh, from now on for at least a little bit. Right, so time to get our first task from Neve. <laughs> Ugh, lame, but I should probably just do it. So in episode 8 of this series there was about 8,000 people that watched it, of which 0.5% were female. So, uh, hello ladies to the uh, 40 women watching this video. Um, but more interestingly, I found that the uh, subscribers were, well, can you guess how many people were, well, what percentage of people were subscribed to the channel that watched the last video? You'd be incorrect. It's 24.5%, which is pretty low. I mean, I've seen people post these stats on their own videos moaning about how little subscribers they have, and it's like 45%. So if you can, uh, drop, this li drop a like and a subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. Cheers. So there is 75 rune crafting. Now I can use the giant pouch, um, so I should go and get that at some point um but this is what we're currently looking at at the rewards guardian so if we check here we've got 515 catalog 550 elemental and zero searches so far so the plan is to still currently stack up 4,000 of each and then do one huge opening on stream at some point and there is the giant pouch right let's get out of here and there is 75 wood cutting, probably going to be cutting these teak trees for a long while. So um, hopefully I can spoon this one. This is like the pet in the series I want to spoon the most because I think with the XP rate I'm getting at 75, it's probably I'm probably getting about 1,500 logs per hour or something like that. And it's a one in 287,000 <laughs> to get the pet. So if I can uh, spoon this one early, that would be good because I really don't fancy doing 200 plus hours of wood cutting with a rune axe because I just don't think that would be very cool. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get lucky. Okay, we just did about an hour and a half of last man standing and so we are just selling the arrows that we got. I think I'm about to probably going to get nearly a mil or maybe just over a mil from this um, and what we're going to use it on is training our smithing because I need 70 for Song of the Elves 
and I may as well just knock that requirement out sooner rather than later. And there is our final stack of GP, one point, nearly 1.2 mil from like an hour and a half of last man standing. That is so broken, especially that Shazian shot. A nice little uh, six seed pack run there. That was very, very, very nice. So from watching a cheeky Mr. Mammal video, I know that if you buy Mithril Claws from uh, this shop here, uh, you get an incredibly good rate in terms of GP spent per Myth Bar that you get. Um, so I'm actually getting a lot of Myth Bars per minute doing this at a very cheap price. Uh, I've got to buy 840 of these. Uh, which shouldn't take too long. I'm already up to 100 after like 10 minutes. Um, and then I need to go and buy... Oh, fuck. I need to go and buy... What would it be? Uh, about 750 uh, steel battle axes and steel war hammers from Mount Krum. If that's how you, if that's how you call it. Um... But yeah, this should be a pretty easy way to bank uh, 70 smithing via Giant's Foundry. And crucially, I should be able to sell it um, for, like, as in, when you hand swords in, you get GP back. Um, and in theory, I should generate a profit doing this, which is pretty nice. And so I should be left with over, like, 1.5 mil left, which will actually be pretty handy for some other skills I've got planned. Okay, this isn't all of the Mithril Claws that we need, but it is a decent chunk of them, and I've got some Myth Ore as well, and I might just do some gold to finish it off right at the end. Um, so that should work out for me. Right, so I've found that actually the Warriors Guild is probably my favourite place to buy uh, steel stuff from, because it's got uh, the long swords, the, uh, the battle axes, and the chain bodies to buy. Um, so it's actually much faster buying here than on Mount Karum. Okay, I bought everything I needed to buy and now I should just be able to turn, uh, start doing Giant's Foundry essentially. Let's see what we get for that. 7,000 XP, so it's 6 minutes, not too bad. Okay, cool. And then I can receive another commission and I get a light, flat sword. All right, we'll buy one of these, shall we? This is actually such a sick mini game. The fact that you profit here is actually mental. 10,000 XP from one sword and it took, what, four minutes. I mean, that's wild, isn't it? Heavy spiked sword. Right, let's keep going. 54 smithing. Really getting through this quite quickly, to be honest. Right, 55 smithing coming in. This is, a, this is a nice training method. We'll, uh, we'll wrap this up fairly quickly, I'm guessing. Okay, so last night I did some smithing on mobile. I got up to 63, and I don't think I'm going to do any more smithing on the PC because it's just a waste of time because it's just as easy on, uh, on mobile. So what we're going to do instead is some woodcutting today, I think, and uh, try and make a push on that beaver pet. Several hours boiled down to a five second clip, but there is 78 wood cutting. I think three levels since the last one I recorded, um, but really kind of getting into the groove of this now. There is 79 wood cutting. Sorry for the workmen outside. They're building an entire housing estate, uh, but we're really got. I've done all this in what a morning, so yeah, it's quite fast when you get into it. Here we go with the first hunter level for a while. I've been a bit, a uh, bit lax on the, uh, on the birdhouse runs, but we just got 74, which is the level you need for magic birdhouses. Hi, Estelle. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have the crafting nor any means to get the crafting level to create them. Um, but not the end of the world. And yeah, I, I want to get 83 over time, but I think it's just going to take ages because it's so low on my list of priorities of things that I need to do. Just got 64 smithing. This is actually such a chill method doing this. Um, and I'm getting quite a lot of money, like 20k per sword, which is pretty crazy, right? Okay, we scuffed the sword a bit, but... 
There is 70 smithing, which is a requirement for Song of the Elves. So that is one of our four remaining skilling grinds are knocked off. We just need the agility, the herb law, and the mining. The mining's easy, we're nearly there. The agility is relatively easy, but I might try and do more of it through quests if I can. And the herb law, we actually. Oh, he's not a bank, is he? Uh, the herb law, we actually have a decent amount of it banked already uh, with all of these herbs here, mostly the irrits and these, uh, as well as we also have a load of clean irrits here as well. Um, so, yeah, we're getting there. Sorry about my horrifically organized bank. It's honestly just chaos at the moment. But once we actually have some gear worth organizing, we'll organize it. Um, but, yeah, we're getting pretty close to those uh, Song of the Elves wrecks now. Right. Lost the baby monitor making music. Uh, time to start Grim Tales, which is going to give me so much XP in so many skills. Um, I'm not sure entirely sure if I can do it. I don't know if this Glod fight is difficult or, or not. I do not recall doing this quest at all uh, on my uh, on my main, main iron account. So we'll see how we get on with this. I do not remember this quest at all. Why is it, why why has Homie got a beard like hanging out the window? I'm so confused. Okay, that was possibly the easiest and and get this for a number, 140,000 XP I'm ever going to get. That is madness. So, what did we get from that? We got 61 herb lore. 65 agility which gives us nothing too useful um yeah that's nuts so much xp 60,000 woodcutting xp i mean wow um all right so let's i don't know what i'm gonna do next <laughs> you'll see <laughs> i spent some time this morning putting this beauty of a tab together uh, i've never done the horizontal thing before for the potions but i quite like it um, obviously quite a lot of stuff missing where I can't actually make it yet. Um, but some of this stuff will fill in soon, like the, uh, the super defenses and the, uh, Snapdragon unfinished. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a lot of herb lore stuff banked, um, and I'm probably going to cash some of this in. I don't think it's going to get us to 70, but it should get us past 65. There is 63 herb lore, which is a level for super restore potion, so they will be a lot easier to get from now on. Really pushing through the herb lore grind. And uh, yeah, we need 70 for Song of the Elves, so that's the goal. Oh, 86 farming. Uh, there we go. I, so I've done that whole level in about a week and a half, just passive, doing only um, doing only uh, the farming guild. So that's interesting. I'll definitely uh, hit 90 before I know it. There is 65 herb lore, which actually is clean cadentine. So uh, for the Song of the Elves requirements, we only have one mining level to go, five agility levels, and five herb lore levels, which should all be relatively easy. I'm going to do the mining passively through doing Guardians of the Rift. We're nearly at 77 for blood runes, and look at our rune stacks at the minute. Massive for a pretty early game account like me. Um, I'm really trying to focus on getting death runes and chaos runes and I will be focusing on getting blood runes because I want to try and do as much of my slayer bursting for free as I can um, because I quite like not because I don't have a fantastic way to get GP yet so being able to um, to keep hold of my cash as much as I can by getting as many runes self-sufficient as I can is incredibly useful. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're we're doing quite well at the moment, and we're really pushing towards those uh, towards that quest, which is just going to be the game changer for this account. But I still need to get the beaver pet, and that is that is the the real unknown quantity here, right? I think at the XP per hour I'm getting doing 1.5 tick wood cutting, we're talking about 150 hours. Um, but you could easily go three times dry, right? So, you know, if I end up having to do 60 mil mine, uh, 60 mil wood cutting XP and it taking 500 hours, that would be really brutal, which is why I'm trying to do some other stuff as well to kind of get my account in a better spot um, passively over time. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we get on with that. Yay! Sleaf-bladed sword. Huge. 
huge because the leaf bladed uh, leaf bladed spear is so bad. Um, right, I'm not going to bank for a defender because it's only like 30 kills to go. Um, but that is so good because it means now I can kill these pretty efficiently and I can do Kurasks as well, which is so Okay, so we missed it way too hard, um, AFKing. Um, but because I logged out as well. Uh, but there we go 60 Slayer. Uh, which is, do you get anything for 60 Slayer? I should probably, uh, after this kill, have a little look, shouldn't I? Let's see. Uh, you get... Aberrant Spectres and Basilisk Knights. That's interesting. So I probably could go and do Fremnic Exiles now if I wanted to. Um, let's have a look. Uh, I haven't actually done Fremnic Isles, but that's not a problem. Um, Fremnic Exiles... Oh, 60 fishing, but I can go and get that at um, uh, Temporis if I wanted to. So yeah, I might might go and do that at some point. And we've got our first ever superior on the account. Can we one and done the imbued heart? That would be really pleasant. Uh, these only have like 55 hit points, so I don't think this will give us a huge XP drop. It should be like 1k or something. Um, but yeah, this is cool. We're uh, it feels like I'm actually slaying now. I. Uh, we got 61 earlier at Hellhounds, um, and we're starting to kind of get to that point where you start getting real tasks, right? Like with uh, Dust Devils will be around the corner. I've already got Aberrant Spectres unlocked. So it was a 1.3k XP drop with no interesting drops to be had, but our first superior down, no imbued heart. Why am I never spooned? I absolutely love this method of bursting, uh, bursting blood valves. Because uh, the XP is just crazy over a whole task. I think we've got 130 something assigned. Let's see what magic level we get to from that. So what, 826k XP right now, and we'll check that again at the end of the task. This is nice. It really feels like proper proper Slayer that I'm doing right now. Like this is this is reminds me of uh, grinding on my iron back in the day. Um, getting up those slayer levels uh it will go quick now the more burst tasks we get the quicker this will be my main thing is i just need to keep up um on my guardians of the rift so i can keep my runes stack up as much as possible i mean look at this the xp per hour is 124k in mage and i think it's about 45k in slayer at the moment crazy So it took about, what, less than 30 minutes and we got, I think that's 60k mage XP plus uh, 22k uh, slayer XP. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was getting about 45k slayer per hour, which is very nice. I'll definitely take more blood veil tasks in the future. Second to only uh, dust devils uh, at kind of this level and we'll be unlocking dust devils relatively soon. That is 63 Slayer. And we're about to get a whole host of other levels that I won't show you, but just imagine now clips of me getting 72 magic and 75 hit points. Ooh. Oh, we've had our first big hippo motherfucker arrive, which is excellent news because they're like so much Slayer XP. Right, can we get an imbued heart? What's the XP drop as well? 4.2k, that's mental. And uh, finished our first Dark Totem, which we cannot use because that would roll us go to Uzo Pet. That's a high risk one to go for one day. Because even though it seems like a low rate pet, 1 in 65, it's actually crazy because you've got to collect the Dark Totems, right? So, big level coming in for us here. 77 rune crafting, which I believe means that I can now do... Blood runes at Guardians of the Rift, which are going to be huge in the long run. I don't think I need to do any quests for them or anything like that. Currently at 689 Elemental, 631 Catalytic. Uh, a reminder that we will be opening those once we hit 4,000 of each. Well, we'll be opening them when we hit 4,000 of each and we get our next pet. Um, just because I think that will be fun and it will be a fun little live stream. Um, cool. All right. All right. First blood... You are fucking joking. Oh my god. Sins of the Father. That's so deep in that quest line as well. Oh, that's so brutal. No. 
Oh god, I think I can do it with my restrictions. Um, oh, I'm good. right, so I'm gonna have to do that then at some point. Okay. Um, it's not the end of the world because I think I can do it. I think the only uh, the only issue with that before was that you um, you need to chop the blister wood tree. Um, but because I'm currently getting the beaver pet at the moment, that's actually no stress for me. Um, <laughs> that was so annoying though, because I didn't really have a need to do that yet. Um, all right, I'll have to do that. <laughs> so big level for the account coming in, seventy range. And what's the best about this is this is our current best in slot gear, uh, and we're moving up to. Oh, oh, it's a thing of beauty. It actually makes range worthwhile. Look at that. Look at that. And with that, I think we'll end the video this week. So, massive progress with the 77 rune crafting, 70 smithing, pretty much 70 mining. Um, decent quests done as well. Um, and quite a lot of Slayer XP. Uh, and, and, and our first sort of real kind of session pushing towards the beaver pet. Definitely going to be doing more wood cutting next week. Uh, I'd like to finish by saying a massive thank you to the YouTube members, Avery Fields, IT Warrior, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, and Mitchell Nunley. Uh, thanks, guys, for supporting me. And, um, yeah, it was a good video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.